you know how the caravan's tow ball download affects your car? Maybe you've noticed the rear end sag or the front end lift a little. Potentially you've noticed the car lurch a little bit more or maybe the steering gets a little bit lighter. In fact, the tow ball download of your caravan has a major effect on steering, handling and even the load capability of your four wheel drive. With these sandbags, we're going to manipulate that tow ball download and measure the results on a weighbridge. We're then going to repeat the whole process with a Heyman Reese weight distribution hitch and compare the results. Let's get started. The first thing we have to get our head around is that by putting weight behind the axle, we're losing weight from the front axle. But we're not actually losing that weight, it's just being transferred to the rear of the car. So in this instance, we've got 250 kilos on the ball, which has lifted 133 kilos off the front axle. What we need to do now is add those two numbers. So we've got 133 plus 250, which is 383 kilos resting on that rear axle. Not just the weight of the ball, but also what we've taken off. Before we consider the implications that will have on handling and braking, let's think about how that affects simple things, like how much you can load into your truck. Using the MUX as an example, its rear axle capacity is 1,600 kilos. Unloaded, there's 1,080 on it. Although with 250 kilograms on the ball, that lifts it to 1,458 kilos. So, by just adding a caravan, we've lost more than half its load carrying capacity. One way to fix this is by spreading the weight across two axles rather than just one. This is where a weight distribution hitch comes into play. If you've ever looked at one and wondered by what sort of dark wizardry they work, you're not alone, but it's quite a simple principle. Imagine you have a ruler balancing on a thick texture. If you add weight to one end, it will not be balanced anymore. But if you jam something under the lower end and lift it up, you're counteracting the extra weight and restoring the balance, forcing the front end back down. That is all a weight distribution hitch does. It restores the balance and forces weight back onto the front axle. In practice, it's quite easy to restore the front axle weight back to normal using a weight distribution hitch. In this instance, we've managed to get it back to within 20 kilos of what it should be. If you do the math, no weight magically disappears. It still weighs 250 kilos more than it did at the beginning. It's just that we've spread that weight far more evenly over the two axles. That's really good for load carrying capacity, but even better for steering and braking. If we look at an MUX come to an ABS screeching stop from 60 kilometers an hour, it can do it in less than 15 meters which is really good for a standard four wheel drive. But with 2,500 kilos of Jayco Starcraft on board, ideal situations, 250 kilos on the ball and a weight distribution hitch, we're looking at 25 meters to stop, which is a lot longer. Now that we've lost the weight distribution hitch, things are a lot more hairy. We've taken a lot of weight off that front axle and so unbalanced them. And as a result, the stopping distance is now 28 meters. The numbers don't tell the entire story though. Consider, after 25 metres of hard braking, the car and caravan without a weight distribution hitch are still travelling at around 30 kilometres an hour. Even though you're only 3 metres from stopping, you're still going at a fair clip, probably enough to set off the airbags. More worrying though, is that the ABS is far less consistent without the extra weight over the front axle, and the whole combination lurches far more, and generally feels less controlled. Imagine that same scenario, but at 110 kilometers an hour. The reality is that ball weight plays a significant role to the braking, handling, and safety of your car and caravan combination. Get the balance right by using a weight distribution hitch, and you're gonna be safer on the road. It's as simple as that.